What's up everyone? Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7 and here we have the awesome Tamiya Tiger 1. This will be another build series like I did with uh, some of my other Tamiya tanks, the King Tiger uh, and also the JS2. So if you haven't seen those videos, check them out. But this video is going to be what's inside this box, so let's go see what's inside. Now with all good quality Tamiya kits, the box art is spectacular and this one is no exception. There's a Tiger one there, looks awesome and uh, yeah, the presentation of Tamiya kits is one of the best. Now you can open it up and not just the presentation on the front but when you actually open up the kits here, here how everything is laid out inside is excellent as well and it gives you all the information about the kit and everything you need to know. When you flip it upside down, this is on the other side of the box, it just gives you a, a good uh, description of what you're getting yourself into, gives you all the control methods and everything like that. Uh, a bit of information about everything that's included, the gearbox, the DMD control unit, the functions like the turret rotation, the elevation of the, the main gun barrel there, it's got a gun hole, recoil action and visual effects, all that kind of cool stuff. You know, all the torsion bar suspension, how the sound effects is recorded from the real tank and stuff like that, which is very cool. And that actual tank there running looks very nice. Actually, this is all, that's another cool uh, camo scheme. Plain grey, plain grey, but this is all the tank and how it should look when you are finished with it. So before I open it up here, you can see in this window, you've got the idler wheels and the front sprocket wheels are all die cast steel which is fantastic here's your DMD control unit to T03 everything else is under here, you've got your plastic tracks huge speaker there uh, your gearbox and there's just a little uh, picture of the top side of the tank very nice Now here we have the die cast wheels, so you see the sprocket wheels, they're in two parts. Obviously you've got two sections here, so that's one left and the right. And you've got your idler wheels as well that are split in two separate halves. I've uh, built a few of these kits now, not particularly the Tiger one, but all the, uh, the quality of the, the metal and stuff that they use is top notch. And I guess you'd expect that because these kits are not that cheap. Next little packet we have here is actual heart of the uh, Tiger One tank at the DMD multifunction unit, the MF01, and uh, actual the multifunction unit that's MF01 and the DMD control unit T03. So this gives you your control, obviously, for all the aspects of the tank, and it also gives you the engine sounds and all the gun, like main barrel and the machine gun sounds as well. To me, the kits how they're set up, or especially these tanks, is uh, is uh, probably the best in the industry. Everything's so nicely laid out in their own individual boxes and all that kind of stuff. It's really uh, is a testament to Tamiya and that's just one of the parts that I think uh, gets overlooked by other manufacturers. But uh, anyway, here's the instruction manual. Very uh, comprehensive as well. Gives you all the paints necessary, everything like that, that you need to get up and go. All the instructions are very clear and precise and uh, yeah it's pretty hard to make a mistake with Tamiya kits they have probably the best instructions of any manufacturer with their cars and trucks so I will see no problem with this but I'm not going to spend too much time on this because this is a build series so this is just the first video um, unboxing and showing you the parts so don't worry about uh, if you haven't seen too much of this you will see much more of this later okay here's the top deck of the tank very nice and the good thing about Tamiya their plastics and all that are probably the one of the best in the business they have nice casting details where they where it needs to be and smooth parts on other sections where it should be as well so very prototypical with a lot of their stuff here's your turret top of the turret there engine cover some uh, lower hole parts there some other parts here as well Nothing too exciting. Okay, under here we have a whole lot of other plastic parts. So, as you can see there, there are your road wheels, side fenders, lower parts. 
your muzzle brake there, your main actual muzzle, and your barrel, sorry. Tow cables, exhaust shrouds, all types of stuff. Front spare track, front section of the upper hole, sorry, lower, mid hole, I guess. Glacier plate, everything's there. The gun mantlet, the rear storage bin, and the rest of the turret is there. Pretty cool. There's a lot, a lot of parts. Uh -huh. Sweet. In this little red box is all the uh, metal components and stuff like that, which is cool. I love all this kind of hardware. So many little screws, countless numbers. Suspension components, this is the fun part of actually building this kit. As per the real prototypical vehicle, it has torsion bar suspension. So very nice. There are your suspension arms there. Screws, washers, bolts, heaps of goodies. Mounting plate for your gearbox. More screws. Thread lock, which is always good. Which is included, that's very nice. Wires for the flashing unit there. More, more parts. Your turret uh, rotation motor and gun main gun elevation motor is there as well. Uh, got some good old grease spare track links, which are nice. Some bushes there, brass bushes, and heaps and heaps of stuff. And this small. Um, it's like a fiber optic, like I think it's a clear piece of air yeah, plastic that is for the the main uh, machine gun at the front, so the light can come through. It looks like it's actually firing. That's it. That's all she wrote. Okay, under this was a sticker, the decal kit. Very nice. Make sure you don't damage that. Here we have the tracks, which are plastic, but very good quality plastic, and the links and all that are very good. I've never had an issue with um, my previous kit, which was the JS2. They only had plastic tracks, but they held up just fine. And if you paint and weather them, um, good enough, they just look like steel tracks as well. Here we have the actual speaker unit. So that obviously will recreate the uh, very sounds of the real Tiger tank. Not much else there, so cool. Next up we have the gearboxes. The good thing about Tamiya kits is their gearboxes are really good quality and that's I guess something to justify the price jump from say Henglong or Tasian tanks. You have a left and right gearbox and it's a mixture of plastic and brass gears here but they do work very well together and you have some steel there as well i've never had an issue with these gearboxes um, so yeah i know there are other manufacturers that make aftermarkets uh, gearboxes for all these tamiya tanks but i have not had a problem with them so rest assured they work really well and are much quieter than the uh ones you get on your hang long tanks and all that kind of stuff. So that's how they sit in the tank. Very cool and uh, yeah, a good uh, piece of engineering. Now this is the last section that's under uh, in this box. Here's your main turret gearing, left and right lower hull uh, suspension unit there or your, I think the torsion bar stays where your, your swing arms go through there and this small slot is where your torsion bar will nestle into shield cabling for the sorry shielding for the cabling nice touch crap loads of rubber for the road wheels this tank has heaps of them probably one of the most on any world war ii tank this and the uh, king tiger and the piece de resistance the lower hull i think it's got a mixture of uh, aluminium 
lower hole here, which is nice for the rigidity purposes, works well. And then for the other section, it's plastic. So it's a mixture of plastic and aluminium, but they've been doing this for years and it works well. I've, uh, I think it's a great idea. But yeah, that's how she looks. The good thing about Tamiya tanks, if you don't like the uh, side fenders and stuff like that, you can run them without it. Uh, you don't have to cut them off like on Henlong tanks and stuff like that. So it gives you the option, but uh, yep, that's how she looks. Great detailing and uh, can't wait to get started. So that's pretty much it for the video. I just want to show you what color I'll be doing it in. It's a famous dark yellow like the Bovington Tiger. So that's going to be the main color. I got some matte black here for the uh, tracks. Some clear here for when I finish. Assorted colors here. Some um, obviously the same yellow in the in acrylic paint here. Got some. What else we have here? Got red, brown, dark yellow, metallic gray, dark gunmetal, chrome silver. Some more red, brown basic uh, glue, some brushes obviously you need those, thinner, and another one of these which are awesome. I love these uh, Tamiya Weathering Master Kits. They really are cool. A little bit pricey but they do last a while. So that is it for the first video. Please um, follow this along because this is just going to be the first video. My unboxing It's going to be a build series where I just go through several parts of the instruction manual and show you how it uh, gets put together along the way. So if you want to uh, watch that videos, please subscribe, um, you know, so you get the notifications when the new videos come up. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. Hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you soon. Cheers guys.